Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs and in today's video we are going to create this creative text animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple and cool tips and tricks inside of After Effects. And if you want to learn more about motion graphics, logo animation and other stuff then don't forget to check out my Udemy courses, links are available in the description. And if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. We will call it as Main Animation. Width is 1920. Height is 180. Frame rate is 30. Duration I'm going to choose 30 seconds only. And then we will go to the 3D renderer. And over here by default it's classic 3D. We need to choose Cinema 4D and simply hit OK. Go to choose Grid and Guide option and simply hit Title Selection. Now I'm going to select my text tool and I'm going to type one text. I'm going to type good over here with because this is very simple. Now select this text, press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Press S for scaling option and scale it a little bit just like this. Okay. Now uh, uh, let's uh, do one thing. Uh, we will enable this 3D icon over here like this then we will go to the geometry options let's minimize this transform and instead of active camera i'm going to choose custom view one and uh, extrusion depth i'm going to choose 80 like this okay then uh, let's choose active camera again now select this right click go to the create shape from text like this then select this text layer go to the search option and type path okay now we have to create each keyframe on each path like this and hit u zoom in a little bit let's go to around one second we will create another keyframe go to around two second we will create another keyframe and in middle of that uh, i'm going to select this let's select our selection tool uh, and we are going to select this much portion and we will move this up to the top like this and we will select this much portion and we will move this downwards okay now select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift we will move this handle over here and we will move this handle over here so let's make this fit so if you see we will get this kind of stuff now after that i'm going to take a distance of 10 frames i'm going to select this and this and we will move this over here then i'll go to around 20 frames i'll select this and this and then i'll move this over here then i'll go to around one second i'm going to select this and this and i'll move this thing over here so if i see this now i'll get this kind of animation over here okay if you alt click on this stopwatch and if you type loop out expiration over here then as you guys can see because this is a path option loop out expiration is not gonna work so for, for that what we can do but before that uh, let's uh, stylize this text over here so let's go to the contents let's minimize all of this stuff first of all now select all of this uh, text layers go to the add menu and we are going to choose front color and we will choose a red color over here now again minimize all of them select all of them by holding shift then go to the add menu and we will go to the side and we will choose color okay so now we have to kill colors uh, over here at the start i'm going to choose front color as purple like this and let's copy this color code and i'll paste it everywhere and instead of red i'm going to choose bluish color so i'll copy this color code and again i'll place it everywhere okay so if you see we will get this kind of animation 
now let's select this press ctrl shift c move all attributes into the new composition and ok go inside this hit u hit n right click trim com to work area ok so if you see we will get this kind of animation now i am going to enable this icon and enable this icon as well so we will get ready now go to the last one let's uh, hide this icon for now now go to the last frame press ctrl alt t to enable time enable remapping create one keyframe and we will delete this keyframe alt click on the stopwatch and type loop out expression over here so what will happen we will get this animation again okay. now let's disable this icon for now now what i'm going to do i'm going to select this and i'll hit ctrl d and i'll move this over here like this press p for position let's select this now over here as you can, you can see is 960 uh, let's open the calculator and let's make this 500 properly okay so now 960 minus 500 is 2460 okay so similarly i'm going to select this hit ctrl d select this one and over here i'm going to add 460 value so it will come over here again i'm going to select this hit ctrl d select this one i'm going to choose plus 460 value okay like this now convert all of this layer into 3d and this one also now right click new and add one camera over here and hit ok now right click new and add one null object Sil convert this null object into 3d select this camera make it apparent with this null select this null press r for rotation then let's rotate it like this little bit press s for scaling option and scale it like this okay let's choose code resolution like this i think we need to scale it down a little bit because we are not seeing it properly yeah this much looks good now we need extra over here so hit ctrl d press p over here let's again minus five uh, minus four six zero over here select this hit ctrl d select this one press p again add plus four six zero like this now we want them one by one so i'm going to take a distance of 10 frames so move this over here move this over here move this over here move this over here and move this over here select all of them let's move them over here so now if you see this we are getting something like this or instead of that what you can do let's uh, adjust it properly let's select this one for example now whenever this one is going to go up i want this one should start so i'll take a distance of one one second if you want then you can do this also like this and select all of them hold alt open square bracket to trim this up to this go to the start and let's move this over here so now if you see this animation we will get something like this now hit u and let's see where is the final keyframe which is over and over here around this and hit n so now at this point this animation gonna be in the form of loop so now what you can do you can select this camera press p for position you can move this also like this the way you want that is up totally up to you and i'm going to make it something like this only let's see this info resolution it will take a little bit time 
but this is how you can create this kind of animation then press ctrl y to create one solid background and let's bring this down select all of these layers delete this text layer we don't need that select all of these layers press ctrl shift c and i'm gonna go in uh, uh, effect and presets and search for drop shadow and simply double click to apply and let's move this drop shadow for here increase the distance to 20 softness to 100 opacity to 20 and uh, color i'm going to choose bluish color let's make this 50 like this so this is how we can create this kind of animation